Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about marketing strategies for the small business owner. You don't want to miss this one. Hello everyone, welcome back to Massage Mentor. My name is Aaron. If you've seen some of these videos before, welcome back. If not, no big deal. Hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified whenever new videos come out. Today we're going to be talking about marketing strategies for the small business owner. These can be applied to any small business. However, I will be giving examples of my business, which is massage therapy. There are so many marketing strategies to use for your small business, and it can be somewhat overwhelming. So we're going to talk today more about the electronic marketing ideas, such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Yelp. I'm also going to touch on Groupon for a brief short period of time. Before you do any kind of marketing, you want to have a marketing plan and you want to make sure that your goals line up with whatever marketing strategy you're going to be using. I would recommend if you haven't done so yet to start creating an email list. This is gold for any small business owner. I don't care if you sell products or you are a service provider such as myself. You want to make sure that you get first and last name. Um, phone number and address are important, but not as important as emails. Email blasts are the key to bringing your customers back. What I do as a massage therapist is I have a massage therapy software program, which is my scheduler, but it also sends emails out to the clients to get their health history information. Now this is a, a great way to obtain the email address, the person's first and last name. That way you can email future promotions out to them and, and hopefully bring them back. If you don't have something like that, there's plenty of other ways to build your client list. There are things that you can do using a router for Wi-Fi that when someone puts in their username, they have to put in their their uh, email address, their first and last name, and that creates a contact list for you. You could buy a contact list. I don't recommend that way because most small businesses don't have that extra kind of money, but that is an option as well. You can run open houses. The ideas are endless to get that contact list going. That all being said, let's dive into some of the social media marketing ideas. I personally don't recommend using Google AdWords, at least not off the bat. The reason for this is that if you create an ad on Google, and for instance, say massage therapy, anytime someone searches for massage therapy in your area, your ad is going to pop up and it may get clicked on. And most of those people are just looking for general information for massage therapy are just burning your clicks. Um, so if you don't understand CPC, it's cost per click. So anytime someone clicks on your ad, it is going to cost you money. So I don't find it very conducive for people who are just looking for massage therapy, not massage therapists. I just don't see it as a good way to um, spend your marketing money, especially when you're first starting out. I find that using Yelp would be a better platform to use. Your $300 on Yelp will go much further than your $300 on Google. Yelp is also on the Apple iPhone maps, um, any Apple iOS device maps, and it's also in almost all smart cars, GPS's. So if someone's looking for, say, a massage therapist in the area, if you are local, they're going to pop up. And if you have your advertising dollars there, that's you're going to be jumping to the top of the list. So just right off the bat, if you're thinking about using Google or Yelp, definitely I would lean towards Yelp. Obviously that just goes for services. The next social media platform that I'll be talking about is Facebook. Facebook is a, is a great platform. Unfortunately for business, it, it's gone downhill. You have to pay to play, as they say. So if you're not willing to put in 5 or $10 to boost your post, 
your post is not going to get the exposure that you're looking for, I'm going to show you my Facebook page for Needed Tranquility. It has roughly 730 likes and you'll see that on some of those posts I might 93 people might see it which is absolutely crazy to me that you have 730 people that want to see your business and Facebook really scales it back so the people that want to see your business aren't actually seeing your business unless you're paying the money I'm not saying to eliminate that advertising route completely because it is cheap you can probably get I don't know 600 views for five dollars but again you don't know what you're getting as far as people that are actually looking for the business that you're looking for along those same lines Instagram obviously is owned by Facebook their algorithm has changed as well you're gonna maybe see five to ten percent of the people that like your your account to see your posts it's really disappointing to be honest your personal accounts they'll be seen a whole lot more so if you're going to use Facebook or Instagram you could always share with um, with your personal account so people will see it more often also with Instagram you have hashtags which can be searched I recommend using that to your fullest you know 20 25 hashtags whatever it may be for me it's hashtag massage therapy hashtag massage therapist etc etc um, make sure that you put your location um, so if you're in Atlanta hashtag Atlanta hashtag ATL um, hashtags are super important with Instagram as well as Twitter which we'll talk about in a couple of seconds here if you want to build your Instagram followers fast you can ask people to follow you back if you follow them I don't recommend doing it that way because these people that follow you it's it's basically just a a vanity figure if you will it's not so much these people are actually gonna spend money for your business or your product or your service but if you want to make it look like you're liked more by all means do the, the follow for follow back um, again I, I don't recommend it but that that's that's your call um, and then you have Twitter which I think honestly is the best social media platform it's unfortunate that you know it's probably in last place for social media usage but Twitter is a platform where everyone sees your post not just a handful so if you have 300 followers as soon as those people scroll down their Twitter feed they're gonna see your post and you're gonna see you know if all 300 people look down their Twitter feed around the time of your posting all 300 people are gonna see it there's also in case you missed um, section so people can can see some of the stuff if they haven't been on for a while there's also notifications so if someone likes your um, Twitter profile that they're gonna get notified whenever you tweet something you can also pay to get more exposure for Twitter just like Facebook um, it's a little bit more expensive I, again these these I don't if you're gonna put your marketing dollars anywhere I honestly again would would stick with Yelp unless you're a product driven business then definitely Facebook or or Twitter um, I mean if you sell other products you could always use Etsy finally I wanted to touch on Groupon it's it's not the best marketing strategy I would say I would definitely do my research before using Groupon there's a lot of I would say there's more minuses than pluses to it if you're new to business by all means go ahead and, and go with it they will probably ask you to take at least half of the price of whatever it is you're selling and then they're gonna take at least forty percent and that's if you're a great haggler most of the time it's still fifty percent the good side to this is that you're going to get people that don't know you exist um, seeing your business. So if you're new to the area, that's a positive. 
Um, you can also build your email client list that way so when anyone stops in they could write down their email and their, their name. So, so those two reasons I say yes, Groupon's fantastic. But that is about where I stop. There is no rules in place for people buying multiple Groupons even though it says limit one per customer, that's up to you. And then you look like the jerk whenever you have to say, look, it says one per customer. So in the day of reviews where you could get a bad review for something silly like that, I, I would I would just be leery of using Groupon. Also, you have people that come back using multiple Groupons, whether it be for me, it was a Swedish and a deep tissue, so if someone came in for a Swedish, they would go buy a deep tissue and come and do that. Uh, I didn't I didn't care for that. You also will maybe have 5% of them come back, possibly 10. Um, most people that are using Groupons, they're, they're Groupon lifers, so they're going to just continue using Groupon. That's not to say that everyone's like that. Some people are just going there looking for their next massage therapist or their next hairstylist or their next place that they they want to go eat every week um, so don't think that everyone is going to just be a bust but most likely like I said they're the people that are coming in they're just going to come one time and they're going to use their Groupon and then you probably won't ever see them again so just keep that in mind if you want to go that way come back for just promotions which isn't awful I guess but still you're you're just getting deal seekers you're not getting your your customers that are valued unfortunately I can't answer which path of marketing you should choose it's gonna come down to what your marketing plan is if you do have a marketing plan in place and you have questions I've done pretty much any route and I could probably give you some pretty good advice as far as which route would work best for what you're looking for you can either reach out in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. You can find me on Twitter, massage underscore mogul. Shoot me a question there and I'll be happy to answer it for you. I could give you the cost of some things. I could give you a little bit of the number breakdown. I've been in business for a while now and I also have made my mistakes. I'd be happy to keep you out of those mistakes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button below. There's also some other videos that you can check out. You can just check them out right there. And um, again, leave any comments that you want, whether you like this video, didn't like this video, what I could have done better. Or if you have questions about what marketing avenue you should go down, I'd be happy to, to answer those for you. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will talk to you next week. Thanks for watching.